You're listening to Two Hotheads on Cannabis with your hosts, Mike Can and Heather Mack on unregularradio.com. We are live on Two Hotheads on Cannabis and uh, cool as a cucumber we are, aren't we? <laughs> As a a cuke what? A cucumber. What did you say? I don't know what I said. <laughs> um, yeah, we we got to stay cool under pressure in the unregular radio studios. We just, yeah. at least we, we got our lifeline. Uh, <laughs> we, we were having trouble hearing our uh, upcoming guest, but everything's under control. And uh, it's good to be back. Yes, it is. Another week. Of we got lots of phone calls cannabis. this week. Yeah. Lots of phone calls from all over uh, the state. From Massachusetts, of course, locally in Boston and New York City, we're going to get some calls in uh, Florida. We're all over the place today. This is a big day today, isn't it, Heather? It sure is. Tons of stuff is happening. There's stuff happening right outside, right outside the door, down the street. Uh, the global marijuana meander is today, so we're going to talk about that. And hopefully, get some calls from the from the marijuana meander. And uh, yeah, and uh, Alex Arsenal, my, my my boy, is out in uh, Davis Square right now collecting signatures with uh, some folks from the, from uh, Normal and all sorts of other people have been out volunteering today, getting uh, signatures for the public policy question to legalize uh, cannabis li- in yeah, Massachusetts. In right? Massachusetts, so that's that's where we're at. And how can people help uh, Alex again with that? Oh, if email? you uh, if you email Alex at taxcannabis.org, um, which is the email address he got working on Prop 19 out in California, um, you can let him know when you're available. And like days like today, I mean, I think he's just going out there for about four hours, going out to Davis. Um, it's all volunteers that are, are running it right now. It's really awesome uh, to see the people who are coming out to help out with that. So the more the merrier for sure. And uh, we'll also, later on the show, hopefully be talking to some folks in New York City, um, in Union Square, not not Union Square, <laughs> Somerville, Heather. I got Union so Square, disappointed today when City. I saw that. <laughs> I really wanted uh, Immortal Technique and Red Man to be playing in my backyard. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should do that next year. Next year, we'll bring them. Global Marijuana March in New York City today uh, with Immortal Technique and Red Man, yeah. And Dominic Chang, hopefully, is going to be calling us from right there. Tell us what's going on yeah, over there. Awesome. And uh, they're fighting to stop, to end, stop and frisk. We've talked about that on this show. So we definitely support what they're doing in New York City today. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, so much going on. We haven't even sure. talked about that. We've been in the dig. Oh, Boston. yeah. We and got Mike big Pan headlines. here is famous along with the King of Pod and Patrick and Nikki and Tommy and everybody. everybody and two hotheads on cannabis. Two hotheads on cannabis. And Heather. Yeah, <laughs> you, we, big videos came out this week on us. It's it was true. Just crazy. It's true. It's awesome. The weekly dig, man, giving us mad props and and had a nice little interview with you, Mister Mike Can, over the yep. on uh, on Thursday when the new issue came out. So make sure to pick up uh, a coffee because I'm putting it's awesome. and just like the show, it's the same theme as the show, the weekly dig. If you pick up that weekly dig, you're like, yeah, this is it. This is what we do every week. We're going after Coakley. We're going after Elizabeth Warren. Whoever doesn't support marijuana legalization, we're 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 putting the pressure on and we're asking the questions. Very right. exciting. <laughs> and that counters some of the uh anti marijuana uh uh media that I saw this week, which I will also <laughs> chat a little bit about where they had a big event. A, a quote a big, big event, event <laughs> where it said in the yeah, this was supposed to be about educating teens How on the dangers came? of marijuana use and it said in the article, although only three people attended <laughs> this event. Yeah, let me guess. Those three people are either paid to be or just are crazy reefer mad. I know. It's That's it. Three people. There's only three people left against us. Well, and they're spouting the same sort of bogus argument that, you know, decriminalizing pot or or uh, allowing medical marijuana um, will somehow increase teen use of pot, and, and even though the facts show otherwise in almost oh, yeah. every other case. Um, speaking of which, and Connecticut... Oh yeah! Just passed oh, yeah. their medical law, so the governor is expected to sign it into into law. Another I mean, this state, is, New England. This is huge, and it's uh, you know. Let's hear it for that. Yeah. We're just moving. We're, Every. We're I next. mean, we haven't even gotten to Judge Jim Gray, a former guest on our shows, might be a candidate. Uh, he, he is. He now. is a candidate. A candidate He's a vice presidential the, candidate. Right. And today's the big day for the Libertarian Party. The convention to decide is oh. Gary Johnson and Judge Jim Gray. Are they the both candidates? guests on uh, Two Hotheads on Cannabis yeah. that are running for president and vice president? The United States. I think that's party. the ticket right there. Uh, it's pretty incredible. I think they won our, uh, what, what do you call, what do we call it, the straw poll oh, caucus? absolutely. I think that uh, we're, we're saying today, I'm saying, 
Gary Johnson and Jim Gray, they they won the straw poll caucus. Yeah. Wow. I'm still waiting for Jill Stein. They keep saying they're gonna come on, but they haven't. So. Jill Stein's lovely though. I like I give Jill her, Stein. I give her I like lots her. of lots of love. She was at an extravaganza last last week. And she sure, spoke so at the Freedom she, Rally. Yeah. So good for her. She's great. So uh, so much going on the show. We haven't talked about our guests today. We got two guests calling in. Mm-hmm. Um, the the one that's coming up next, who's been patiently waiting on hold, and we're very we're very happy to have him, is uh, Jeffrey Kennedy from uh, from Florida, who's doing a lot of doing work um, with some other individuals down there to uh, sort of you know uh, start a dialogue am- amongst uh, the elderly, specifically in regards to uh, medical cannabis. And his uh, website uh, is I'm I'm a uh, I'm a patient not a criminal dot org. And um, and yeah, we're gonna have him on in just a few minutes. And he won a he won a very big case for himself down there, and is helping other patients defend themselves in court and win cases, in, in a tough state to win to win these types of cases in. Florida has you know is a southern state, and a lot of times and they don't, don't have medical marijuana and they don't have decriminalization. It is still very much a criminal offense down in Florida. And the laws in the system down there is much harsher. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, uh, you know, it's not uh, the same as it is up here. Um, so they're winning. They're they're moving. They got these billboards that have gone on. We're going to talk to him about what's going on in Florida. And uh, later on, we're going to talk to Brad Goss. I think I said that name right. He's uh, the chronic marketer. He's got this book. Uh, I looked at it. It's very interesting. I think uh, maybe we could use it for this show. Let's, let's see if he can help us out with our show, <laughs> with our marketing. He likes to smoke weed. I like that, that he just put that out there. And uh, also how to deal with haters. I think that's a common thing in this movement. How do you deal with haters? He, he's going to answer those questions for us today. But uh, why don't we play some music and we'll come let's back with Jeffrey Kennedy, right? All right. What are we Sounds What are we good. doing for the music right now? We have a brand new track from the 360s from an upcoming CD, actually. It's called Fall Down Stars, and we'll be back after this. All right. That was the Stiff Little Fingers with Nobody's Hero. Before that, the English beat was Save It For Later, and before that, the specials with Nightclub. All for my dear mom, my fabulous mom, uh, Sandy. I love you, and um, thanks for thanks for teaching me right about uh, music, and <laughs> so that was uh, thanks for letting me do that. Those were some uh, some nice songs. Those are some Thank of my favorite. You. Thank you for the songs too. <laughs> Good songs. We have a phone call too. Oh, we do. Look at that. Hello. Hey. Hi. Um, is this uh, Carl? I'm sorry. Who's this on the phone? This is Ryan Stogner. Hey, I'm with a band called North of Autumn. <laughs> and, um, Got one of those calls. And <laughs> anyways, I was in that single contest for this radio station, and um, we were in the third round, which ended today. Can I stop you right there? You anyway, know you're live on the radio right now? <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. Do you, do you, this do, happens sometimes. Do you know sometimes. that you're live on the radio? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I hope I am, because, I mean, to this radio station, when I submitted my band through Sonic Bids, yeah. It's, do you think do you think uh do you think Eddie Van Halen calls up to stations and asks them to play this song? <laughs> Van no. Halen is your like typical All right, um anyways when I called through Sonic when I submitted my band through Sonic Bitch. Hey man, um, what song what 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 show are you calling into? I'm calling into the on regular radio. I'm not sure which DJ or show. I'm <laughs> yeah, well that, you're on the wrong show, dude. This is Hang on, up the phone. This is, on, this is two hotheads on cannabis and uh, we, we do weed legalization. Happens, we don't uh, have time for that. <laughs> oh, there's Hang, another phone another call. call. Let's, let's take the let's next take call. One. <laughs> Hello. Hi, you're live on the radio. Who are you? Oh, it's hey. Carl. Is that Carl? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's You're the call we were looking for. Oh my gosh! Wow. You're calling for the global marijuana march. How many people are there? How many people? What? <laughs> are you underwater at the global marijuana march? I think we lost them downtown. There's a lot of tall buildings down there. No, he's still there. Are you there, Carl? How many people are out at the Global the Marijuana Meander? Yeah. Call back, Carl. We're going to call back. Sorry, guys. 617-606-4122. <laughs> if you're out there at the uh, Global Marijuana March in Boston, New York City, anywhere around the world, give us a call. 
And uh, that was Carl. He called in briefly. We could hear the large crowd down in uh, Faneuil Hall Marketplace in Boston. And uh, it's going to be tough getting reception over there, I know. It always is because that's where the skyscrapers are. But uh, That's okay. Well, I'm sure they're having a great time, too. It started out at uh, 4 o'clock. It's about to be 420 in we a gotta, few minutes. Yeah, do we want to try again? Should we try again? I right. hope hopefully this is All right, calm. let's give it a shot. Hello? Yeah, we're, we're, back, we're back. We're back. We're back. I keep it bumped up there. Oh, okay. There I'm we there. go. I'm we can there. we can hear you now. I'm there. <laughs> I'm on radio. Speak out. How many people are there, Carl? <laughs> All right, they're doing chants. <laughs> That's awesome. Sounds like you guys are having fun. How many? We want our rights. Talk about the same liberty. Of course. Legalized drugs. A little. <laughs> You're not, Carl. <laughs> how, how are the people in? Uh, how are the people in Faneuil Hall uh, coping with the with the influx of marijuana uh, rights activists such as yourself right now? What are What are they saying? We're We're, we're trying to organize. We're We want to want our people legalized. We're culture people. We want our rights. <laughs> how, how many people you think are there, Carl? <laughs> how many people you think are down there with you guys, marching? Well, we, we got about we got about 30, 30 to forty people standing right here right now. Good, cool. Is, is the Boston Pot Report down there? Yeah, they're down there. Mass Can uh, and uh, a few other groups. Yeah. Is there any? Oh, you know, so who who are the people from Mass Can down there? Let's see. Uh, 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 what's what's your name? Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get her. I'll get her. Here. Hey, Kara. Hey, Kara. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. <laughs> What's going on? I, I spent the morning with Alice Arsenal. Uh-huh. And David Square collecting signatures. It was awesome. <laughs> I was going to ask now, you about that. I heard all about it. we are at Faneuil Hall. We're standing in front of the Sam Adams statue. We're yelling and we're protesting. We've got our big signs and we're really loud. And I'm sorry you guys can't be here, but thank you so much for making sure we got some air time. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for being down there for us and for going out all morning and collecting signatures for PPQs. Uh, That's awesome. I'm so a, happy. It's been a day, man. It's been a day. <laughs> and then yesterday was the Moms and Cops event at the State House. We had some really amazing speakers. That's, that, all those videos should be up really soon. And, uh, yeah, it's been a, a legalization weekend, man. No stopping us. Excellent. No Excellent. And and you of course on the Boston Pot Report on Fridays. I know Alex was on the oh, show yeah. yesterday. He was all excited. So uh listen to the Bo- Boston Pot Report also on Unregular Radio. <laughs> and yep, uh, Fridays from one to four thirty. Awesome. Wow. That's so great. I'm so glad. Were you having a good response out in uh in Davis Square? Oh yeah, we had a great response. Quite tons of signatures, absolutely tons. Everybody wanted to sign it. How many people? They, they were getting in line to sign it. That's people incredible. Want this. People want it now. <laughs> How, what, who are there, some of the people down there, Kara, from Mass Care Normal, and who we've like that we know? We've got President Matt Sonnishin. We've got uh, we've got board directors Keith Saunders here from National Normal. We've got uh, Ted Hightide of Facebook fame and Boston Power Report fame. We've got Carl Caswell, for the fantastic <laughs> Mass Can member. <laughs> We got um, Bill Cimbrello running uh, against uh, uh, Warren and Scott Brown for Senate down here with us. Oh, my goodness. We are, we are politicizing this issue. We are taking it back, and we are going to make it uh, legal. Yes, we are. We are with people, fabulous people like you guys working on it with us. This is it's a wonderful day. And of course, Absolutely. we yeah, we got great news from Connecticut, of course, today too with medical and uh, you know things so are happening excited. in New England. It's 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 an awesome time. Thanks so it's much so for fantastic. calling in. Can we can we hear some chants before? Uh, are you guys doing chants right now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Good job, Tara. Thank you. Right on. All right. Thank you guys for having us on. Have a great show and uh, keep up the great work. All you right. too. We got more phone calls. We got our phones ringing off the hook. Who else is on the line? Hello. Hello. This is Brad Goff oh. calling. I have a call at 420. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, excellent. You're, uh, <laughs> we're going crazy over here. We're going to put you on hold, Brad, and we're going to uh, go to some music and we'll be right back with you. How's that sound? 
Why don't we put them on hold, Newman? Okay. And we'll, we're going to come back with some music. Uh, we're taking open calls from the Global Marijuana March in Boston. You heard some of the calls. That was fun. That was awesome. Thanks, Kara, awesome. for calling in. Yeah. And uh, Carl Caswell, of course, and all the other people who are out there getting you know, public policy signatures today, going out to the meander. And uh, I think it's hilarious. They call it a meander instead of a march. That's so, that's so appropriate. But um, So, yeah, who are we coming back with? I call it the march. You know, I, I could tell you the story of how they became the meander and why I think it should be the march. <laughs> Maybe when we come well, who back. We come, yeah, no, no we'll, we'll do that next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to, un- unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave. I know. You have to get so going. So I got to go. We got to say family goodbye stuff, to yeah, Family stuff for Heather today. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Heather, for sharing that with your, your mom and the songs today and coming in today. Thanks for letting me do it, man. You're awesome. I love it. Every no every week. I love it. Yeah. And that was a good little segment we did. So uh, we're going to play some music. And you heard we did a little preview because we answered the phone live on the air. <laughs> that was our next guest coming up, Brad Goss. He could probably give us a lot of tips on our show and marketing and all of you folks out there in this movement. The Chronic Marketer, you heard him. He's on the phone. We checked out his website. He's given us uh, tips on how to deal with haters, how to grow your business, how to scale your business, how to t- not just listen to people with ideas. We, we need concrete steps and, and products. And this is the guy. I listened to him last night, this morning. And uh, I think he's got a lot to say and, and can help a lot of people. So we have him on the show today. And we'll be right back with some music and Brad Goss. This is literally our 420 break. We'll be back. We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Ding dong, it's 420! Regular radio. Stay tuned because more wackiness is sure to ensue. You're listening to Two Hotheads on Cannabis with your hosts Mike Can and Heather Mack on UnregularRadio.com. Back live on Two Hotheads on Cannabis. We're in Boston, Mass. UnregularRadio.com studio. And I'm joined with a special co-host. Special, what were we calling you today? Uh, the guy in the chair. I'm the the guy and the dude in the chair, the Patrick dude. Wilson. Taking the big seat over there. Yeah, yeah. Heather, uh, had, Heather had to leave. Um, she had some family obligations she had to take care of. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd come and hang out with, with the cool kids. Yeah. And a few minutes ago, we were just uh, trying to talk on the phone to the guy from New York. We're going to put him on the phone right now. What's going on? What's going on in New York City right now? Um, all right, so you guys said you can hear me on your end? Yes. So I'll just give you a brief update on what's going on here in Union Square, Manhattan. Yes. Um, right now, David, P- David Peele is playing. He's a legendary, iconic East Village figure. He's been around since the 60s. He's been in, he's been in the East Village and then singing protest songs. We just had Immortal Technique um, perform and speak earlier. He's a very famous rapper who's uh, very conscientious about social issues of the day. Um, we've had numerous speakers from various countries giving talks on everywhere from the spiritual aspects of cannabis use, the problems with the private prison industrial complex, to, uh, to various to other various issues. We've even had someone talk about Ibogaine and the benefits, the, the benefits that Ibogaine can provide to drug users, to drug addicts. Um, I can't hear you guys on your end, so I can't answer any questions, but um, yeah, so we got, a, we got a rally going on right now in Union Square. We'll be here again next year and the year after that until it's legal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That was a good call. We can hear David feel in the background. Is he still there or is it the call over? Uh, he hung up. Yeah, up. All right. That uh, was, that was, you could hear, I could hear David feel in the background. That was a call from New York City. And that was Dominic Chang calling in from the Global Marijuana March. New York City, Union Square, happening right now. You just heard Immortal Technique just hit the stage. He just did this uh, Occupy the Hood 
audio yeah. show that you sent over to me, Patrick, that was awesome, Immortal Technique, supporting marijuana, decrim, as he called it. I think he supports yes. the whole nine yards of uh, legalization. Mm-hmm. Well, Mental Technique gets what I do, that this is about putting people in jail for petty shit, ruining yeah. them for jobs. This is a civil rights issue, and he called it out. He's with us. He wants to see the... The arrest of people to stop the stop and frisk in New York City. Yes. He did this today. Um, there was reports Redman was going to do it. I don't know if he showed, but we know Immortal Technique was there, and we now know that uh, our real our, our our I love this guy, uh, David Peel. He gave me so many great words on this last Freedom Rally. So much great advice for someone who's been doing it for so long about how to make change happen, yeah. and. Uh, there, it, it, some of the changes on the show and the way that we've gone more political and more direct action is because of some of his words. And he's out there again today. And it was good, so good to hear. I could hear him in the background. David Peel. Absolutely. You New should, York City. You, you should get Immortal Technique on this I show. I want David Peel. I like the Immortal Technique. Absolutely. Believe me. I like Occupy the Hood. But uh, there's so many people I want on the show. I, I, I'm I begging to have David Peel on this show. That's like one of the number one. That would be... You'd have a line outside. Yeah. You'd yeah. have a line outside. I, line outside starts with me. I don't <laughs> care about everyone else. It's about me. No, I'd definitely like to be here for that, too. I, hell, I'd, I'd just listen. You ask Newman. Listen Newman, because Newman would be the one of the people I'd be fighting him over, David, wouldn't I? Oh. Do you like David Field, Newman? Yeah. Met him last summer. It was yeah. Last I'm fall. Jealous. Incredible. Yeah. He's incredible. Yeah. I think we all met him, right? Yeah. It was I awesome. I didn't get to. <laughs> I did. I'm whining about it. Well, right. he, he, told me, he, he told me I could be in his band. Really? Oh, yeah. He once said he wanted to record music with me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a musician. He's like, it's not about music. It's not about uh, artistic. You, 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 look at you. That's all he said. Look at you. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, Mike, you know, I, I bet you could figure out and put out something pretty decent. I mean, I performed with him on absolutely. the Freedom Rally. I consider that a performance. I got up there <laughs> so, and sang with him and starred up there with him for a song. You've already done it then. That was my first performance at the Freedom Rally. There you go. There you go. Beyond speaking as Mike can. <laughs> <laughs> There's a character. That's a character. That's not really me. Oh, look at the Bostones. I mean, the Bostones have this one guy. He dances. That, that dances. And he you made a the, living off of it. You know no. the story behind that, no, right? No, I kind of do, but not really. Well, he was the he was, he was was the guy who helped them carry their stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. And he was their he wasn't roadie. Old enough. He wasn't old <laughs> enough to get into the club. So he needed a job. So they had to they make made him, him a dancer. job because they wanted to get him there. Yep. Yeah. There goes my phone. Wow. Oh. That's the king of pot texting me. What's oh, the phone number? King of Pot. What's king the of phone Pot number? Rocks. Yeah. You, should, you should know. I know. Come on, King of King. You Pot. should know. King you of should be Pot. listening to the show and know that it's six one seven six zero six four one two two. There you go. You are the man. You listen to the show every week. But yeah, we're, we're going to be taking a call from him as soon as I text him the number. <laughs> <laughs> Since he's obviously not listening to the Mike, show right the now. the mad texter. Yeah. yeah. One-handed, too. Yeah. One-handed. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty good. I do that on the with a thumb. I'm, a, I'm all thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the King of Pod has to say today. We'll find well, out soon. Well, I think we're going to find out because I just sent the text. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's always got, he's always got something yeah. interesting to, to, to input, you know? I yeah. predict we're going to see a phone call pop up any second. Any second. If not, if, if he didn't like go to do something else now because I didn't get back to him quick enough. Oh, you know, that would be bad. That would be bad. That wouldn't work out. Maybe he went to like you know, drop off some kids or something. I don't know. Oh, we have a phone <laughs> call. Oh, no, wait. I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, it's the King, King of Pot. Pot. We're just talking about you. Yeah, oh my goodness, how are you guys doing? We love you. Good. I love you. How, do I sound okay? I'm calling on my Skype. No, you sound great, crystal clear. Nice. Good. I'm in my studio on my on my microphones and everything, going through my tube amplifiers. So I said, let me see if uh, the sound is sound really good for you. He's got his tube amplifiers wow. out for us. Oh, I love it. It sounds really good, Mike. <laughs> I'm all Thank pumped you. up today, King of Pot. I love you. Thank you. I love you. I'm glad you're feeling good, my man. I just I uh, finished uh, a video up here. We got going up tonight on the King of Pot. dot com. We got a great, Woo. great performance by Los Marijuanos. Oh, oh, wow, Pony yeah, Boy. And, uh, the, the, the Canamania Part Two video going to be premiering within about a couple hours on the website. So I hope all your fans go there and check it out. Wow, that's great. Phenomenal, Thank you, my man. So uh, last week we we finished our show, but 
we we were so packed that we never got. We were supposed to have a closing segment with you. Okay. You remember uh, we did we we had a huge last week. It's like sixteen people. I yeah. know we did. And we also we got in the. Uh, we haven't even talked about it this whole episode, really. The dig. We were in the bit. Yeah, we were in the dig, Boston. We we were like had a, yeah. a full page spread in the dig this week on Mike Can interview on a protest that you and I and Nikki and Patrick and a bunch of other people, Garrett, we all organized this thing, and it worked out well. We got a lot of press. It was great. Yeah, it, 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 it was really. Uh, I felt so liberated doing that with you last week. Me too. It, it, it felt good to get out and, and see the support we got, even with the people that were just walking by, as well as when we went into Faneuil Hall. Um, it, it, it was, it was, we were very receiving from the people. It was nice. Yeah. The people want legalization. That's yeah, they, for sure. They do. And it's coming. It is coming. It's coming. Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> and Mikey, I mean, you know, if she didn't hear what we were doing, nobody would have heard it. You know what I mean? We yeah. we, we were blasting out on that microphone thanks to uh, Garrett, I believe, who brought it, right? Uh, the uh, megaphone, the yep. megaphone yep. we had. Yep. yep. Yes, he did. Yeah. I, I know that she heard it because it's all over the press. So Yeah. We it's all over the place. I mean, my God, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I you mean, when you started you. posting it uh, to me and, uh, and I saw that we were getting that sort of press, it was amazing. Mike, you, all you guys did an unbelievable job. And I mean, hats off to oh. you. I mean, uh, you did make an influence. Well, we're just, get, we're just getting started. There's so much, uh, like every week, there's like... We had calls today from New York City. David Peel's in New York City right now, leading in nice. a huge festival just with the Immortal Technique. They just put out a huge Occupy. Like, we're going in Boston. We had Cara Crab Burnham down there. They're doing a bunch of people down there in Boston, marching right now. We got people collecting signatures in Somerville right now. Do you know what I mean? Right it's now. like, like not and next I, week, I, like we today. To get, we today. Need to get people out there. They can't be afraid. to help out. It's like, it's like now every weekend. Like last weekend, we did something amazing. It's like, this is the time. We're getting shit done. Medical marijuana is here in mass. It's going to happen. We're, we're collecting signatures for that today, too. You know what I mean? Like, I can't keep up with the news. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, the King of Pot. Yeah. Again, for uh, being my friend. Keep my head in the right direction at all times. And well, so, you know that. I, I this program. man, you call me. If I can be there, you know I'm going to be there for you, man. You know that. Yeah, I do. I do. And uh, that doesn't go for everybody, but, uh, you know, I'm at your service, sir. You know that. Oh, that video, that video that you're in, uh, Mike, it, that, that thing is going viral. I, I think it got reposted. <laughs> oh, God, on, I saw it on my <laughs> really? Facebook, and, 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 you know, Free Mass Media did such a good oh, job. Oh, the one where he went thing. off with K.O. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, you know what? I, I Can we close the show? That that I mean, not only on my speech, but yeah. what they did about yeah, capturing the whole entire event and put it in such a, a nice capsule the way they did it. it I was I was so amazed at the way it was put together um and uh then you. you know when i saw my speech i couldn't believe it because i tell you honestly if i didn't say it last week i blacked out when i did that i just was so pumped and to be out there and to be working with you again mike and to be out there with the people and be able to be on a, a megaphone like that and let my passion out i blacked out so i'm glad that they they captured it and uh I didn't know it was going viral because I've been so busy editing in the studio here. Well, the funny thing is, everything's going viral in the studio right now. My, like, I don't know if you heard all the bing, bing, bing. My phone's been going off. Everyone's texting me. We're getting instant feedback. We're getting phone calls. We're missing them all, but they're all coming in as soon as you're on the air, King of Pot. Oh, my God. And you and I together. Uh, every I time. just want to say, everybody, everybody, you know, man, you, you know, they got to keep listening to you. And uh, I can't always listen live. And I want to tell everybody, you know, 90% of the time I, I can't listen live, but I download his uh, episodes. You, you you know, MikeCan.net, you get all the information. And I, I listen to you, Mike, because I want to know what's going on politically. Okay, and I get all my information from you, and it's great that you do this service, and you do this service for free. So, you know, people don't understand you don't get paid for this, and you put these organizations together to get people together to do get out in the street and make make something happen within our our, our marijuana movement. And thank you for all the years what you've done, Mike. You've done great. Wow, thank you. <laughs> wow, absolutely, Mike can everybody. How about the King of Pot? Right. How about the King of Pot? How about the King of Pot, too? Absolutely. 
Thank you. Can we? Can we? So, can we so, so you guys, uh, you guys had a great show today. I, I mean, did. I didn't hear any of it. I'm sorry. I we wasn't did. Listening, like it's I like said, but, it's uh, like uh, I hate to be like uh, cocky and stuff now because our show used to suck. <laughs> oh come on! No, it wasn't yeah, good. A long well, time ago, it was not good, and I wasn't good on know? it. This show is very good now. Every week after week after week, this week was good. Last week was good. It's like last week was great. Um, and I hate to. I shouldn't even say that. That's bad. I'm breaking rules right now. Nah, we can do that. Want. We can do that. I don't give a fuck. Rules are right. broken. Oh, it's that good. <laughs> it is. So, uh, and so, I, so, you know, uh, we, we want you. We, 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 what we want to do is Newman. We always have to. Newman's been phenomenal today. Newman's been yes. killing it too. Like we had, Mike we Newman. did so much today, and everything went perfect. He just did everything perfect. There was no stress anywhere. It's we perfect. Still, we still got. Oh, see, we still got ten minutes. Yeah, but I, that's perfect. what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring that. You, you're right on the ball because you know I'm going to throw something at you. Uh-huh. I want to play that King, King of Pot to close uh, it. No. No. He gave the speech uh, that was the amazing speech that was captured by Free Mass home. Media. And we should we should capture that at the end. We should. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely we Can should. We, like, we, we got people in the studio that haven't even talked yet because we're so action-packed. So Rich Fu was there, and Nikki yeah. and uh, Tommy were there. What do you guys think about the King of Pot speech last week after you viewed it in person and on YouTube? Rich Fu. Here comes a voice. <laughs> what do you think about that moment? Well, I just popped in to say hello real quick, uh, but I thought it was phenomenal. You know, again, as usual, you know, anything the KOP does is always from the heart. And, uh, you know, you can't deny that. It's absolute. You can't take away from it. You guys have you guys filmed it. What do you think about that uh, video that you put out and the reaction and the speech itself? Well, I, I love the speech. It was awesome. It was passionate. Um, he was right on with everything here that's going on in Boston. And, you know, I got it. It was it was so it was one of the first things I wanted to put out there. Thank you very much, KOP, for saying that. It was awesome. God, thank you, KOP. Thank you for <laughs> what you did. I mean, it, nobody would have seen it, you know, or even seen what we did if it wasn't for the way you captured it and did it. So, Broward of Free Mass Media, Nikki Smokes, and Tommy, thank yeah. you. Yay! And, uh, you know, before we get going, we are gonna we are going to play that to close it. We do want to thank everyone for being on the show today. We had a lot of guests. Uh, the chronic marketer, Brad Goss, Jeffrey Kennedy from Florida. We had phone calls, Carl Caswell. We had Cara Crab Burnham on the show. Um, we also had Dominic Chang called in, gave us an awesome, quick little report from New York City. That was very cool. I think we heard David Peel in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some good instant feedbacks and people calling in. Patrick co-hosting with me in the second half. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Man. It's always a pleasure to come down here. Yeah, it is. It's a I, good time, isn't I, I it? I like coming here. It's, it's it's a good time. It's a nice studio. Um, I'm always I'm always very envious of the studios you guys have here because we we built our own over at, at Occupy and it's not as nice. I as was this. wondering what yours were like. You should come and see us one I will. of these days. I you would really like should. to. You guys have like nice to. mics. Oh, I'd like to. <laughs> Yeah, this this place is great. Mm. And, uh, yeah, thank unregularradio.com for having us every week. Uh. And our listeners, our supporters, our Facebook group posters and all that. We're, we're kill, kill, you know, big community. It's growing. Uh, Mike Newman. Newman for being here every week. Newman is a man. Yeah. He's a rock. He's a rock star now, man. I mean, I, he's. I, I, I say, <laughs> hey, you know, him. we just We've did this about one. a half hour ago. We just did that. I know. Kamalita, the executive <laughs> producer, who's always been a rock star, even before us. Oh, you know, always. Oh yeah. Be before and after us, and uh, Carmelita rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Heather Mack, the co-host. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we got Richie Fu in here, and, and Free Mass Media, and John. Hey, so we want to thank everyone for coming in and supporting us. And uh, who did we lose? We lost someone. Someone was here earlier. I don't know. Heather well, was here earlier, but no, she's not Heather. Here. Someone else. We already said thank you to Heather. Oh. <laughs> hmm. But and of course, thanks to the King of Party, who I think is still on the line. I'm still here. He's still Yay. as we're going through all our thank yous. Of course. Yeah. And Dig Boston, thank you for supporting. Oh, that, was, yes. that was amazing. Dig this week. One more time. Big bravo to them. Dig Boston. And uh, we're, we're watching all these candidates online, too. That's one thing we should note is that uh, we, Cynthia Warren was hiding out. You know where she was today, King of Pot? Where? She was down in Situate. She's down Situate. in Situate. Yeah. Same what t- was she doing down there? 
doing an open mic, I think, open uh, open town hall meeting type thing. Hmm. Mm. Same time gotta as our get show. Got to get down there sometime. No, you know, no, no, no. Somewhere no. she is locally, no, you know? We, are, we don't have to get down there. We have to wait till she comes to us. There you go. She will come to us. You think so? Oh, yeah. Her or uh, Joe Kennedy. Like, next time they're in Boston on, like, 12 o'clock on noon on a Saturday or Sunday, yeah. that's our next Occupy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm getting excited already. Thank yeah. you about too. this. Oh, yeah. It's, it's coming up. This is what we're doing. We need some new chants. What do we get? Uh, what's this one? <laughs> Mike, check. I'm occupying for weed. There you go. How about the song we did? I like that song. I love the way uh, yeah. Free Mass implemented in uh, in the video. I, I thought that Free Mass Media did a great job implementing that, the way we sang. Oh, I, yeah. I love that. That was good. That was very good. Who came good. up with that idea? I think we all did. I think it was cooperative. Yeah. We all worked together. We did. We all worked together. The way we we, we had little committees, little joint committees, and people do their little things that they're good at. Yeah. yeah. We all work together. We all have our functions and routines and jobs. And talents and that's what that's And we respect what, what each other. To this, you know? Yeah. Well that's what we want to do. We want to respect everyone. Right. For what what they contribute. Everybody brings stuff to the floor. Yep. If anyone uh wants to say I, I know a lot of people were saying uh call it in earlier, didn't get a chance to talk. If you want to give a quick hello to the King of Pot, six one seven six oh six four one two two. Otherwise we are gonna say goodbye. And on the way out, we're going to play the King of Hearts speech last week. Oh, my goodness. I get which, to hear it. Which was the highlight of the, the whole thing, I think. I mean, the, right. this was a great event for so many reasons. But this was a great moment when you, you just went off. Mark Emery, yeah. man, he deserves that speech. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Mark Emery deserves what you said. Like, that, that is the truth. Well, I meant it. I meant yeah. every 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 damn word and and more, you know. And uh, you know, he's my idol. He's the reason why I do what I do. And you know, I want to be there when he gets out of uh, prison in three. I guess it's three and a half more years. Ooh, yeah, it's well, terrible. It's such a long time. Yeah, that's yeah. It's the only thing we have no, is well, time. Thank God for his wife Jody Emery, who's uh, keeping his uh, spirit and his memory well alive, and what's going on in, with him in prison. And, she she uh, is the most you know, amazing. The word out yeah. to everybody. She's an amazing woman. Yes, she is. She deserves everybody's support. Someone's calling in right now. Who, who's hello? Who's on the phone? Hello. Hey. Uh, who's uh, this? Is Spencer. Oh, hey, Spencer. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Pretty Spencer. Good. Did you want to say something to the King of Pot? I did, I did. I wanted to say uh, thank you for all your uh, activism and, uh, you know, continuing to get out there. We saw you last Saturday at the Copley Rally, and, you know, you were, you were very into it. You were very, po you were very powerful, and, uh, you know, you just showed, showed a lot you. of enthusiasm for it. And I just wanted to say, you know, continue the activism, and your show today was great. You know, you guys had a lot of people on here uh, g giving reports of what's going on with these meanders today. All right. Thank you, Spencer. So, thank Th you, Spencer. Thank you, Spencer. No problem. Good yeah. call. And uh, I hope you're enjoying your day, too. I'm sorry? I hope you're having a good day, too. All right. You guys Did, as well. Didn't you, you pick up a show today. Didn't you pick up a new Vapor Brothers vaporizer, too? I did. I did. <laughs> nice. Let's hear it for that. Ah, right uh, he finally got one himself. Yeah. So you you got a gravity vortex and a vapor brothers now. Wow. <laughs> doing it big, doing it big. All right. Thanks for calling, Spencer. No doubt. Have a good one, guys. You too. You have a good day. Right All right. Bye bye. Wow. Did you hear that, uh, King of Pot? What do you think yeah. about that? Yeah. Nice. He's a he's a great guy. It's Spen Spencer's been, uh, Spencer's been following, uh, I guess, all of us for quite a quite some time now. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, indeed. I, so, uh, uh, all right. Well, thank you so much, Michael, King of Pot, Malta. <laughs> King of Pot dot com. Yes. My brother yeah, in the movement, and, my and lover. Get the Productions dot com with uh, you got my oh, yeah. buddy in the Rich studio Fu. right now. Rich Fu, Perceptions of a Madman, I, I, per premiering soon on the all new Productions dot com. We also like to call him. Yeah, I know it's probably copyrighted by NBC, but it's like the Voice. Yeah. Rich yeah. Fu, the Voice. Yeah. That's his new nickname. Rich Fu, the, the Voice. Vo <laughs> you know. I'm looking yep. forward to that show. That's him. That's him. You got him. 
I got him. So, you bet I do. My, my, my man over there, what are you doing, Rich? You, you having a good day? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Just driving around, enjoying the day. Finally turned sunny, so I figured I'd pop in, say hello to Unregular. Where we'll, we got to go. Listen to that voice. <laughs> We're listening, but we got to go. It's 5.30, and we got to play your bet. So we will see everyone next week, same time, 3.30 p.m. Ooh. on RegularRadio.com. Thank you, King of Pot. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Thank to all the listeners, the community. We're killing it. Killing it. We'll be back yeah, next week. Here's the King of Pot from our rally last week. Occupy Oakley, Boston. Thank you. It's coming up. It's coming up soon, hopefully. Right, Newman? <laughs> <laughs> Police are the ones who don't recognize decriminalization. I hear so many stories about the kids who don't know about their rights. And these individuals make sure to take advantage of what they don't know. All with medical with marijuana, which is decriminalized in the state of Boston. So why are they hassling the young people? Because they know they can. Just like Amata Coakley who doesn't know the real meaning behind medical marijuana that she says it's a headache. I mean, our attorney general saying it's a headache? Come on now. We want you on board with us. If this thing does get passed, we need to know that we've got an attorney general that's going to implement it right. We're not trying to badger. We're not trying to take you down. We want them to join us. Unfortunately, I have no hope for our state police because they'll never join us. But you know what? We can still win this war! We can win this war on weed! We can win this war on medical marijuana! We can finally maybe get marijuana legalized! If more of us get together like this and take a stand and show your passion and show what, you, what it means to you and start fighting amongst one another in our movement, we need to come together! I'm sick and tired of seeing the fights! I want us all on this hill! Everybody should be with us! That's what it's about, this man I wear on my shirt! He's spending five years in a federal penitentiary due to our own DEA! It's not right! His own, his own government turned him in! Our government turned him in! It's not right! I don't see people getting mad that our own DEA went inside Canada, a sovereign nation, and took this man, Mark Emery, to jail! I know it's another story, but you need to find out about Mark Emery because it's happening, people! They don't want you to believe it, but it's happening, people. The things that are happening in our eyes got to stop. We need more of us to come out. Please come out and join us. Please bad stuff all the grief and the fighting and the infighting. Let us get together and get this best once and for all. What do you yeah. think of it? Oh. All right, and with that, I want to thank everyone for getting and coming here. I want to thank Mike Ken. He's the one who's been doing the political end of it. Okay, you guys see me a lot, but I do the entertainment end of it. This man I learned from, the King of Pot learns from, he's doing it. He's not doing it for ego. He's doing it because he's got the passion. And that's what we want. We want those with the passion, not the one to be pot stars. I'm sick and tired of hearing everybody wanting to be pot stars. We want to see activists out here. Pot stardom comes later. We want activism out here. Pot stardom comes later, folks. Come and join us. Let's make weed, marijuana legalized once and for all in my lifetime. Thank you, the King of Pot. A 24-7 online stream of everything regular radio doesn't offer. Also without that wagging finger of corporate or big brother, this is Radio Unleashed on regularradio.com.